Hi, Chad here with EndlessFoodSystems.com. You may have seen our aquaponic systems on National Geographic TV last fall. Today I want to talk about one of the most important elements that you've got to add into your aquaponic system on a regular basis, and that's iron. The reason that you may be getting some yellowing in your system if you already grow aquaponically, if you're not adding iron to the system, or if you're noticing a crusty, uh, dead edged leaves where the, the edges of your leaves are turning you know, dead, that could be an iron uh, deficiency. And the thing about iron, it's a, actually a topic we could talk for for hours. In fact, we have classes on our website for about an hour long each if you want to go on there, several classes that you can watch. But the thing about iron, there's actually uh, several different types of iron. There's ferric and ferrous iron, uh, and they actually flip-flop depending on your pH and whether they're available to the plant or not. So for certain kinds of iron that above a pH of about 7.6, your plants are not able to, to take those up. And that's an iron that's uh, uh, got the suffix behind it, DTPA. That's an okay iron, but it only re really is good for your system below a 7.6 pH. If we get above 7.6, there's really only one kind of iron that's gonna be available to your plants. And that's a, a, the symbol for iron is Fe, and then it would be EDDHA. And it's a fairly difficult iron to find, or at least it has been for us. Uh, so we have found a good source for a pure form of EDDHA, and we're offering that for sale on our website. Of course, you can maybe find it locally. Uh, look around, it's, it's kind of a more difficult one to find. But the real reason we like the iron that that uh, type of iron is available to our plants at any pH. It could be from a 6.0 to a 8.5, and it's still going to be available to our plants. The other thing about iron, just in general, it's something that you've got to add to your system on a regular basis. Uh, we add about two teaspoons for every four to 500 gallons in our aquaponic systems on a weekly basis. Now, it does turn your water a little bit uh, dark like a tea, but uh, that way we know that there's iron available in our system all the time. You can also get a meter from Hanna. Uh, they make a little meter and it actually measures the parts per million of iron in your system. And you, it's really good if you can maintain like a two to three part per million iron, of especially the EDDHA. So thanks for watching. Go and visit our website at endlessfoodsystems.com.